Yes, I have diabetes right now. Um, I am uh, there. Uh, I do three diets, three types of diets. They kind of inter they kind of intertwine with each other. It's the uh, carnivore, keto, and low carb. Right now, um, I have no money for groceries right now, so I'm eating unhealthy uh, from my dad. I'm eating off my dad right now. Uh, I don't get my food stamps until uh, till five more days, which which will start helping me because I'm, I'm trying something new with my budget. And um, right now, uh, my blood's at 61. I'm I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna try to eat too much because I want it to gradually come up instead of being rocketed up. Because right now, um, I could consume a lot of food right now and have it just shoot up straight. But I'm trying not to do that. So, because I don't want to chase it. So, I don't want to. Ch I don't want to chase my blood. So I'm letting it. I'm letting it come up gradually. Oh yeah. Yeah, having diabetes. That's the problem. That's the problem I've been having. Uh. Uh. Li uh, living, uh, eating like my eating with my uh, eating off eating my father's uh, food, my dad's food, because it's it's it wrecks it wrecks my blood sugar up. Yeah, pre di uh, pre diabetes means his body was on the verge of becoming a diabetic. And if he would have continued down the path he was at, he would have been a full-blown diabetic and there was nothing that was going to change. His body was going to give out. So him cutting out uh, rice, pasta, bread, and so on, like all that other carbs and stuff, allowed his body to naturally heal. He, he's, um, he's still a pre-diabetic because his body, his body is already fucked up. His body's already fucked up. So his body is like on a on a seesaw. One one fall uh, one thing can cause his body to tear off and he'll become a diabetic. Yeah, so he so he, so he will he, so he he has a possible his body has a possibility of healing itself if he sticks to it. If he doesn't, he's going to be a full-blown diabetic and he'll have to take insulin for the rest of his life. There's just no, there's just no coming all across that. His body will, he'll, he'll fuck up his body, and he'll turn, and and, and and that will be it. That'll be completely it. Um, diabetes is genetics. There is some, there is some studies that shows it is, it is. My, I have no diabetes in my family. My diabetes happened because I was drinking too much soda and I stopped walking. I was homeless for about two years and soda was my caffeine to keep me up awake, to keep me alert. When I got my first place, I became, I became sedentary and my drinking habit increased. So I became a diabetic. My pain, uh, my gall, I had a gallstone lodge in my pancreas and about killed me. I, uh, I about, I about, I about died in my bed because of it so it's it's there is a mixture but a lot of it starting but but a lot of it but the majority of people who are diabetics because of their diet it's very i i've 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 i i'm gonna probably say probably like 30 percent is genetics 70 percent is diet so you're so you're more you're more likely to become a diabetic through your diet so being sedentary, like like I, I try not to be sedentary a lot. Some days are better than others, but I but I watch what I eat. So that's the thing. Like you, if you watch what you eat and you you try to take better care of yourself and stuff like that. Like um, like if you're not a diabetic, I really recommend a glucometer, which is this is what this is. It's it's a glucometer. It checks your blood. Try doing what you're try doing that. Uh, like before meals an hour after you eat two hours after you see so you can see how your body reacts and then you can see what and then that way uh, if you need to ch if you're if you're if you're if your body's going through it 
because like if because if you're because like it, uh, before you eat would ch tell you where your base where your baseline is an hour after you would tell what the food the food just did to you two hours would tell you if your if your blood sugar went back to normal or not so you would get a you would get a rough estimation of how food affects you and I know what food does to me being eating like my dad like eating pasta potatoes bread stuff like that that's why i'm on a that's why i do like carnivore low carb and keto uh, uh low carb high fat protein type diets stuff like that it's that that seems to be the diet that works for me and um that's that's what i've been that's what i've been that's what i've been doing is that diet and so yeah yeah it 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 um it does work it it it, it, it um um, like I'm, I'm, I'm okay being a diabetic. Like it took me forever to, to come to terms with being a diabetic, but I'm actually, I'm actually glad, um, uh, <clears throat> I became a diabetic because it taught me, it taught me how food works. It showed me that, uh, it showed me that the, um, the food pyramid that we all grew up with is complete dog shit. It is that food pyramid. It's complete dog shit. It's 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 complete dog shit. It really is. You're not supposed to have that much carbohydrates, and and we're and people are having too much, and 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 and, that, and the problem is, is is that this isn't misinformation. Like I can't get in trouble because I'm a diabetic, and I and I have like my body has reacted to my body has reacted to this stuff. So like I I like like like. Like you don't need to be a doctor to, to 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 help people out, and yeah, like cutting back on your carbohydrates, it does help. Like it really does. If you can cut them out completely, then that's even better. But if you can lower your carbohydrate intake, you'll do your body you'll do your body wonders. Like I have a soda. I drink. I found a soda that I can drink that doesn't affect my blood sugar. Um, it's called um, the soda I found is called uh, Zevia. Zevia is a good is a is it's very expensive. Zevia is very expensive, and um, it's like a dollar a can. But it doesn't affect my blood sugar, and it's really low. In, it's really good, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah cherries, cherries, the best. Uh, uh, Zevia. Uh, so I, I always have. Uh, I always, uh, I always do cherry. Uh, I always get cherry cola, and um, and. Um, Doctor Zevia, yeah, it's 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 a low car it's a low carb, it's a low carb drink. Um, that's a little bit on the healthier side. Uh, no, th you have to go to a specialty store like um. Okay, give me a second. How am I going to explain this? Um, I live in Arizona. There's a store called Sprouts, which is a health food store. A healthy a healthy farmers market there is a store called fries which is owned by and operated through Kroger's so if you have a Kroger's you can find it because I found Kroger's in Indiana so Indiana had Kroger's and it had Zevia so you could probably get lucky there um, so yeah okay so you have a sprout so yeah try sprouts sprouts would definitely sprouts would probably yours probably sprouts would probably uh, your I don't know if it like I don't know if yours would, but it I'm just I'm spitballing based on what's available here. Like all sprouts that I that I have here sell sell Zevia. So I'm sure I'm sure that I'm sure your I'm sure yours would probably too because it's it's owned by the same company. So I'm probably sure they would probably they would probably do it. But yeah, you got yeah go there. Yeah. Just check it. Just check it out. It's um. It's uh. Um. Hold on.
There. That gives you that way that way it's a much easier for you to understand. Those are uh it's uh Cherry Cola is good. Dr. Zevia is a good Dr. Pepper replacement. There's no it's all clear. So like all all Zevia all Zevias are clear are clear color. There's no there's no color to it. It's all clear. It's all clear. Um Cherry Cola is my favorite. Dr. Zevia is my second favorite. Um you you'd have uh I uh, at the bottom of the list, if you ever look online for the flavors, the regular flavor of cola, only in a pinch. If there is no other flavor, if there is no other flavor to get, and I'm and I need a Zevia fix, I'll get cola. But that has to be the dead last of no of, of the last. But those are the most popular ones: is cherry cola and Doctor Zevia. So like those are definitely those are de they're very expensive though. They are they're very they they are very they are they are not they are not cheap. They are not cheap at all. I mean really not. Yeah so there you go you you just gotta you just got you just gotta go for it. you gotta you gotta you gotta buy you gotta try it uh, and see what you think about it. I mean. Like I said, they come in like they come in a they come in a like I'm sure they'll probably come in a six pack or a ten pack. Um, and uh, you just gotta you just like there's no singles, so you have to so you're gonna so you're gonna have to bite the bullet and try it. Yeah, they're they're really good. They really are. They're expensive as all hell though. They're like like they're they're very expensive, but they're really good. I mean, they're really good. I I love them. So I'm glad I found. Like I said, being a diabetic, I found some really cool shit that I never would have thought at all. Never thought I would. I I never thought I would have ever found. I never would have found out if if I haven't if I never became a diabetic. Never would have found out. Never. And so like I'm I'm so I'm like I'm glad. You know, it kind of sucks that I I'm 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 stuck with this disease. Because I love potatoes, like I really do. I I really do love potatoes. Fried potatoes, fried potatoes are like my favorite, and I do. And I some I really do miss them a lot. Like I do have them because I have to eat. But if I but if I'm not, but if I'm on my diet and if I stick to the food I'm supposed to, oh yeah, I do miss having. I miss do having some fried potatoes, fried potatoes and onions mixed in there. Ooh, I do miss that. But it it's 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 it does it does hurt. But yeah, fried taters. Oh hell yeah, fried taters, fried taters and cut catfish. At least you can have catfish. You can't have it breaded though. Like you can't have breaded catfish, but you can't have catfish. So yeah, like you do. Like I do. I do miss. I do. There's a lot of stuff I do miss uh, having. <laughs> at least I. At least I can have bacon. I mean, shoot! I buy like I buy like three pounds of bacon each month, so like I'm always glad I can at least buy bacon. So, I mean, that's always the positive side. At least I can. At least I'm always glad I could buy bacon. But yeah. Like I said, you know, being a diabetic, you don't really, I mean, you miss a couple of stuff. You miss, you miss some things, but at least, you know, you can still eat it. You just need to take insulin for it. You know, like I still take, I have to take insulin for all the shit I'm eating right now, for all the garbage I'm eating. But after, uh, you know, realistically, after I'm, uh, after I'm done, after I'm done, um, after, uh, if I stick to my diet, I hardly, I hardly touch I hardly touch my insulin, except my nightly insulin. I have to take that every night, but that's that's beside that's 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 not that's 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 not the that's not that's a that's that's the that's a rule I have to do. It's not the it's not the exception, you know. So, yeah. So yeah, like every night I take insulin, but if I but if I but if I stick to my diet, I don't have to. It's a uh, 
Levimir. Like, Levimir is my nightly insulin. And I take that every night. I take about 24 units every night, which is perfect. Um, Humalog, which is my fast-acting insulin. Like, it just depends on... It just depends, really. Like, if I'm eating, like, 50 carbohydrates, which is, like... I guess two, like a two decent sized potatoes, that's 10 units of insulin. So I based, I based my, I based my, I, I based my insulin ratio around, um, around potatoes because I couldn't give up potatoes now, now that I, and so if I'm on my diet, I can give it up like it's nothing. Now, if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, like, like, I don't, like, I, I haven't given up sushi because I don't need the rice in sushi. I just need the raw fish. And that's all I need. So, it's like, I haven't given up eating raw fish. So, that's, that's really, that's really, that's, that's the best thing. Yeah, like I said, there's certain things you get. There's certain things you give. Uh, there's certain things you give up. Like uh, there is a there is a keto bread. Um, there is a keto bread that Walmart does sell. Uh, here in, here in Arizona, it's like five dollars, like four like five dollars for uh, half a loaf of bread, and um, it, the carbohydrates are like six grams per serving. That's total net carbs. That's that's how much your blood sugar is going to get affected is the net carbs. So yeah, like 6 like 6 grams like so it, it's pretty decently it's it's pretty decently good. Um I'm a, I have some I have some on my list, my grocery list, but I'm probably going to get rid of it because I I hardly I hardly eat bread anymore realistically. Unless and like I said, unless it's an absolute necessity, like if I have nothing to eat, I'll eat bread and everything, but that's but like I said, that's that's not that's not, that's 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 not the rule, and um, that's the exception. But um, yeah, other than that, it's just mostly I mostly eat just like my my grocery list is pretty much easy. It's meat, cottage cheese, sour cream, pork rinds, um, my zevia. So like my zevia, meat, cottage cheese, sour cream, and pork rinds. No, that, that that's that, that's technically the majors, and it's not too bad. I mean that's not counting. Let's I mean come on, that's not counting the condiments and like the mayo. Um. And the spices that you need for your meat to cook your meat with but yeah it's pretty much it's pretty much it's pretty much like it's pretty decent like i i'm probably sure i'm probably sure like if you were to take if you were to take my if you were to take my grocery list and make a circle and put and and, and cut it into and cut it into three sections um i think i think right now um i get more i get more protein i get more protein it's protein fat and and like carbohydrates so i get more protein a, a good chunk of fat a good chunk of fat and pretty much hardly any carbohydrates but i know majority of it's come I, I know i know that big that big pie is mostly is mostly uh protein I'm not I'm not getting I'm not getting uh I'm not getting a whole lot of uh, fat. Yeah. Grilled chicken's fine. Uh uh I do chick uh I do chicken thighs though. Um chick uh you want you want more fat and so you want to go more dark meat like chicken thighs. Like like right now I don't do chicken breasts. Because chicken breasts are just very lean and they don't have a lot of fat, uh, and I don't do wings, I don't do legs, I do chicken thighs because chicken thighs are the ones where a lot where a lot of that fat's at. 
and fat it fat is fat is flavor you got to remember fat is flavor that's why bacon is so good is because it's that fat you're eating it's that it's that deliciousness it's the fat you want that's why when you do a hamburger when you do a hamburger you put mayo on it it's because you're adding flavor to it you're adding flavor because there because because just having a hamburger by itself there's nothing there so it's so it's lean there's nothing really there so you want you want the fat that's why if you go to like uh if you go to like a if you go to like these like specialty places that do like ground like ground their own meat and stuff and it's really juicy and flavorful is because there's a lot of fat in there so they they grind they grind they grind chunks of fat in with the meat and grill it and that's why you sometimes you don't need that's why you don't need like mayo or ketchup on, on it because it's you the flavor's already there So yeah, I, I've learned. I that's why uh, that's why I've learned that uh, that's why I've learned that fat is fat is flavor. <laughs> 